So the plan is to make a reverse intro for this vlog where I jump into frame and then rise up as a superhero, say welcome to the vlog, and we're gonna see how this works. Welcome to a new vlog. incredibly tired from yesterday because I had a couple of beers and uh, also had a drink. Jesus Christ, the other focus was off. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for all the comments that dropped on my previous video. I really appreciate that. These sails are making the perfect light right here. It's basically like two big soft boxes. I couldn't get back to all of you, but I tried to get back to as many of you as possible. Oi, I'm coming, hun. Oi. <laughs> Come. We got a stray dog. <laughs> Came waltzing in on the uh, on the property. <laughs> The weirdest thing is that you, there's usually someone that is the owner that is close by, but there's no one here. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. That might be uh, the most random occurring thing <laughs> that I've experienced in a while. En labrador. Vi vet inte vem. En labrador. has got to be one of the warmest days of the summer so far. We're currently at a place that's called Tjurholmen. Approximately like 30 minute drive with a boat from Strömsta. And I highly recommend to go here if you ever visit Sweden and want to rent a boat and go to some place. Good. Quick update about the dog. We heard someone whistling and the dog started running, finding hopefully its way back to the owner. So it turned out as a good wholesome story. To have her own the dog, it was very nice meeting your dog. Even though I would love to try out riding the ring behind the boat, I would probably probably break something if I did. So it wasn't me, it was my my brother-in-law Felix. I know it's a very childish thing, but I do not like kelp and I do not like anything touching my feet while I'm in the water. And usually here in Sweden we have a lot of kelp all around the edges of the cliffs. But the water is very clear though, so that's good. I do not like kelp or deep water, but... It's definitely about overcoming the fears. <laughs> but it's good though.
Mm. Cold beer on a day like this. Few things that beats that. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is how to vlog when your life isn't that interesting. And the fun thing here is that <clears throat> I don't find my life that interesting, but I see it as a challenge to piece something together every single day of what I do. And sometimes, you know, you have to drag out the vlog to be extended over like two or three or four days. And sometimes you can make something happen just like with one day. But as far as storytelling goes, there is a couple of things that I always think about now that I didn't do before when I started up this channel. And the most important thing is to show what you do instead of telling the audience what you do. Explain why you did it, not why you're about to do it, if that makes sense. Because when you start doing that, that is also when you start recording more of the everyday things. And a lot of things is happening in the editing process because most of the things that I do, <laughs> such as like doing the dishes or driving my car, those are not interesting things to shoot. But of course you also have to have a bit of context to what you do. And sometimes you have to explain to the audience what it is that you're about to do to give it a little bit of a context. But it's very important that you focus on showing the audience what you're doing throughout the day and then in the editing process cutting away everything that is not necessary. And one thing that I've done lately that has been a huge impact on these vlogs is that I have not consumed almost, I'm gonna say like a couple of videos maybe, but I have almost not consumed any YouTube videos within the last two months because I don't want other creators to influence the way that I make my videos. I want my videos to be the way that I see them in my head when they come out to you. And of course I draw huge inspiration from Casey and other creators on the platform, but these videos that I do now are published the way that I envision them. Okay, have a good one. See you soon again.